And another bad situation at a Southern California horse racing track. This time, uh, this is in San Diego County. Officials at the Del Mar Thoroughbred Club say the two horses are dead after colliding. It happened early yesterday morning. They say that these two horses were coming out of the gate for a workout, and then all of a sudden, the horse named Charge a Bunch unseated his jockey, made a U-turn running the wrong way, and hit another horse called Carson Valley. Both horses suffered fractures because of the force of the impact, and both died on that track. And because horse safety is front and center at other tracks here in California as well, horse racing officials and veterinarians are working hard to find ways to keep those horses as safe as possible. Fox 40's Doug Johnson has more on how officials at the California State Fair are doing exactly that. He joins us now live at Cal Expo. Doug. Eric, uh, racing started here about 2 o'clock. It's going to run through 7 o'clock tonight with races all through the weekend. And while certainly this does cause a lot of concern within the sport, experts tell us that horse racing is safe for the animals. I think everyone's concerned. Even we are at the track. That's why we've adapted statewide medication rules that have cut down the types of medications of person can put in a horse. Richard Lewis is a steward with the California Horse Racing Board, one of several who has been assigned to Cal Expo during the state fair. He says he and his fellow stewards have been compiling lists of at-risk horses. Horses that are taking significant class drops, horses whose work patterns are different than they used to be. And then when we make a list of that, those horses, the day they're in, the veterinarians are taking double and triple looks at them. Despite Thursday's incident at Del Mar in San Diego County and a spike in deaths at Santa Anita Racetrack, experts say racing is actually getting safer for horses. Over the last five years, we've reduced the number of fatalities in California overall by over half. You see Davis's School of Veterinary Medicine. This horse has actually got two stress fractures. Professor Susan Stover works closely with the California Horse Racing Board, examining the bones of racing horses that have died and determining ways to prevent their injuries. We develop imaging technologies uh, that are new and novel, like the PET scan that will be unit that will be installed at Santa Anita Racetrack, which we think will have. Um, a uh, high likelihood of helping us detect pre-existing injuries. Now there is an alarm system at Cal Expo to let uh, other racers know when a horse does get loose, like what happened down in Del Mar. But again, experts tell us that that type of situation is extremely rare. Uh, one expert telling us that he hasn't seen a uh, death like that occur in more than 20 years. Reporting live at Cal Expo tonight, Doug Johnson, Fox 40 News. Doug, thank you so much.